Hey guys, welcome back. Well, I would like to uh, share with you my top five technology predictions for 2015. Uh, four of these have to do with Linux. Actually, probably all of them have to do with Linux, but let's start with number five on my list. All right, number five, I believe that the Ubuntu phone or Ubuntu phones will be a success. Now, if you recall a year or two ago, uh, Canonical ran a fundraiser. Now, I predicted that the fundraiser would fail and it did but this time I believe Canonical is doing it right uh, there will be uh, two companies I believe manufacturing uh, two Ubuntu phones and I believe that the Ubuntu phones will be a success how much of a success I don't know yet these phones will only be released in Europe and if they prove to be successful there hopefully we'll see them here in the United States alright number four on my list of top five technology predictions you know, I've cracked jokes about this before in the past on the Sunday Night News and Nonsense reports. Smart watches, they're here, they are staying. You will have a lot more choices when it comes to uh, wearable technology. Uh, you don't have to spend three or four or five hundred dollars for a, a nice smart watch. I believe they started about a hundred dollars, hundred and fifty. So smart watches will continue to sell. Number three on my list, this might be wishful thinking, but you know what? Battery life on, well, smartphones, I'll just say it, it sucks. I believe we will have some kind of an announcement or some kind of major improvement in battery life technology, at least in uh, smartphones. You know, that might be wishful thinking, but I think we'll see something improving dramatically in battery life technology. Number two, Chromebooks. If you like Linux but are scared to try or to keep anything in Linux, you may have tried it before, maybe didn't care for the bugs. Uh, Chromebooks based off of Linux, they are selling, they will continue to sell. You will have a lot more choices this year in terms of screen size, quality, you know, speed, performance. So definitely take a look at Chromebooks and you will probably never have to worry, well maybe almost never have to worry about viruses. My number one technology prediction for 2015. What can I say? I believe that Windows 10 will rock. For those of you who will be in the market for a new computer, Windows 10, I'm telling you, I've been testing it inside a virtual machine. It's fine. You know, I predicted that Windows 8 would not sell as much as Microsoft would have liked if they just would have listened to me and put the start menu in from the beginning but no they did it their way you know what the technology behind Windows 8 was fine I use Windows 8 or 8.1 it works perfectly fine and gaming is terrific on it but it was a shock for a lot of consumers it was a shock to go from Windows 7 to what was Windows 8 without the start button or the start menu it was very uncomfortable Windows 10 solves that with the inclusion of the start menu and some Linux features including virtual desktops. Imagine that. Well, some other features will be uh, the Cortana Voice Assistant, uh, a new web browser called Spartan. I know it sounds like Halo, right? Hey, I love Halo. And then I mentioned it'll be free. Yes, I did say free. So if you currently have Windows 7 or Windows 8, you will be able to upgrade for free to Windows 10. I think that's the right thing to do since Windows 8 didn't really, well, they kind of botched it, let's be honest. But Windows 10, Microsoft is doing it 100% correctly. I'm using it now, Windows 10 will rock. Well, that is my number one technology prediction for 2015. If you have other predictions or disagree with any of all of these, leave your comments below in the show notes. I would love to talk about this with you, but I'm sticking with these predictions right now. However, however, I reserve the right to change my mind. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I think out of all of these, I think uh, the Ubuntu phones will sell very well and Windows 10 will sell very well also. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.